Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we're ready to go. Yep, I think we are. Yep, I think we are. Hey Molly, I've heard a lot of good things about this driver. I think we should try and get them to sign up to your lineup. Okay, um, what's going on, everybody? Um, nothing really much to say here other than, uh, other than just new stuff. Um, oh, what should I, how do I start this one out? Um, first of all, uh, this is actually my personal OC car, uh, for I with a V12 swap. I actually do like it with a V12 swap on it. It actually sounds really good, so honestly, came out of an Enzo Ferrari. So, um, uh, so my friend is actually inviting me to a party. That's why he's sending me invites. That's why I heard my phone vibrating. So, in, so, in, uh, so today I'm going to be talking about what's going on, uh, with the car industry here. Um, I was on a, I, I'm in a Facebook. I'm in a car group on Facebook, and and they they tell me that because uh, I posted a video of of a Dodge Challenger Demon, uh, no, a meme of Applejack's face on what uh, on what he would actually look like that face that will let you look at or something. I don't know. Uh, I can't. I don't know how to say it though, but. It basically, it's a meme that I posted on a car group on Facebook of um, of Applejack showing her the, having that expression of when she's seeing a Dodge Demon in a car meet. So they were telling they're telling me this. Um, if they one of the one of the members of the group was telling me this that uh, I have I have mic lags. I can hear it on my phone. So uh, what's going? So what's happening is that one of the members of the group was telling me this: that if you're talking about the demon that's from the early, from the early '60s, '70s, and so on and so forth, then that, that's fine. But if not, then it's a lot of bull crap. So I, I replied to his comment and says, "So you're basically saying that that the Challenger demon is a figment of your imagination." So he was telling me this, and no, it's not. It's it's just bullcrap about like why would you actually use a dart, a dart, uh, a dart demon package into a challenger, and uh, 
And I, I told, and I also, and I also told him this. I mean, if if Dodge was gonna use the dart, if Dodge gonna be use, if Dodge is gonna be using the dart uh, as a demon, then they were gonna be using that crappy dart that um, that we know today. And uh, obviously, nobody likes that. I don't really, I don't really think anybody likes that kind of dart. It's supposed to re supposed to re replace the neon, but. But uh, I don't think it really sold well as far as I'm concerned. But anyways, if Dodge was going to be making a dart demon, especially at this time period, then they would have to re-engineer a new chassis. They have, then that's going to be... No, not just, just re-engineer re a new chassis, but they're just going to be making a completely different car. And that's going to be cost... That's going to cost a lot of money for Dodge themselves to... To, uh, uh, to just throw away. So what they've done is, for to make the Dodge Demon, Dodge just decided to just take a Hellcat, just the standard Hellcat, and just shove more horsepower in it up to 840 from its original 700s. And also, that saved them a lot of money just to make the Demon uh, as the Challenger, which I think is still a good idea. I mean, a lot of people do love the Demon. But for those people who are thinking that the Dart package on a Challenger is not doesn't fit well, you need to consider how the car business works. If if Dodge was going to be making another demon, if they are going to be making a Dart demon, they would have to re-engineer a completely new car. But, yeah, but some people have their own opinions, and that's fine. And, uh... But some people will disagree on that on that opinion. I'm not saying that your opinion is wrong. I just I just feel like I just disagree with it. And everybody has their own opinions as much as I do. You have your opinions, I have my own opinions, we all do. So what's gonna be going on, on this on this little video here? Um I'm not gonna be cruising here. I'm going to be taking uh, Shadow Bolts Racing, which is a arch nemesis of Equestrian Motorsports, up into Goliath and see how well they can do around the track. So I'm um, heading over to Byron Bay right now. And uh, once again, this is my OC. Um, if you guys want to check out my channel, I'm um, MFHRC Brony. So I'm just going to be shutting up here. It's going to be quiet here for a little bit. And just watch me cruise. See how it's going. I had the right of way. Stupid Forza Drive guitars. It's also judging by the fact that I'm driving a left hand drive car on this side of the road. So 
every time I turn onto an intersection. And if I want to make like a right turn or left turn, I cannot see that much because of that A pillar over there. Got a ute right behind, behind us. And these guys drive a little faster. I mean, I could just like pass them up, but I mean, I just want to cruise, just be just a little bit casual. Plus, um, this is not a passing lane. We're almost at that intersection, don't worry guys. Almost that Actually not intersection, but it's a roundabout. I'm tailgating. I'm tailgating. Yep, there's an F fifty GT to just pass by. I can pass it on over here. Excuse me. So a little bit of um, Equestrian Motorsports uh, information here. Uh, they're a racing team that I actually made up, and I'm actually the team leader, which includes all the MLP characters of the of the main, including the main six. And. Um, and they're usually the rivals for the Shadow Bolts, which is a, one of, 
which is the opposing team who are, who is competing for the 2018 Horizon Horizon Championship. So they haven't actually done racing. I haven't done a lot of racing yet, so I have to bring them back to the track. So we're gonna go to Goliath and do some of that stuff there. So Question Motorsports has a 40, almost a 40 win streak, uh, according to their record books. Um, I have them, I have them all, all analyzed on my phone using a win to loss ratio calculator and stuff like that. So yeah, Shadow Vaults are not doing so well right now. Although their wins are more, are more than their losses, they're not doing so well right now. This is actually more, this is like a 50 mile an hour road. These guys are like driving like 40, 10 miles under the speed limit. Hey Molly, you have a friend in an online free roam session. Would you like to join their game? That's my driver Tar's name. She's a girl. These guys are driving like 30, 40 miles an hour. This is a, this is like a 50 mile an hour road, if not a little bit faster. I know here, I don't know how it runs over there in Australia because I do know for a fact that America, roads like these are like 50 mile an hour roads. That great brain. Watch out there, you better watch out. Ooh, we nearly hit him. It's heavy rain, I could tell. He just went straight up downpour. Is he, this guy's driving slow, 30 miles an hour.
Yeah, yeah these guys are slow. And I thought FH1 uh, driver's cars were that bad. Hydroplaning. So, um, Alright, so now we have arrived to Goliath, so um, we're gonna get the shadow bolts up and running. So, and these will be counted on their, on their record books, so every win or loss I will be counting them as I go. on the phone. Alright, so we're going to start off with the sugar coat who drives a Toyota Supra. And you should, as you may saw earlier, uh, I did make a Castro Tom Super livery, just for a little bit of Gran Turismo 3 nostalgia. Hello. What do you want, Nick? I don't know. No, I'm bored. Uh, and there they are. It's My friends just, just, just decided to join, but okay. <laughs> Holy goddamn fucker! <laughs> what do you guys want? I'll, I'll be meeting. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm bored. I'll, I'll be meeting you guys for a little bit. That was weird. Well, that was weird. Uh, I'll, I'll well, that that's weird. weird. So anyways, let's get started. So uh, I'll, I'll let them do whatever the hell they want. So anyways, let's get started. Keep in mind that I'm going to be alternating camera views. I have a habit of doing that, so, yeah. But anyways, let's see how Sugarcoats can do around the track.
Dave Venino. Typical, it's not taking that. impressions that Sugarcoat is actually experiencing right now. The Super is actually a real, a decent handling car. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. The on, on, on throttle acceleration, uh, when you step on the throttle on low speeds, it's, it tends to wheel spin just a little bit. Even at high speeds, when you actually start to turn the wheel, um, it's, it starts to get a little bit squirrely. But overall, the car is very well behaved and yeah as you may see in this video. As long as you're not playing it hard, playing hard with the car, it, it, it works out fine. Oh, there goes her first crash right there. And she missed a checkpoint. So we're gonna stop right here. And it's gonna respawn us back. You know what this kinda of actually reminds me of? It actually kinda of reminds oh 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 god damn. It actually kinda of reminds me of that the Mario Kart thing when you actually accidentally fell down of, out of the map, it actually brings you back, responds to you and stuff like that. It's kinda of like that in Forza Horizon 3. Dirty driving out there, Sugar Crow. Take it easy. She dropped down to down to sixth place, but she was able to bring back five. Hey, take it easy, man. That, those guys. Those guys. Benson taking back the lead. Next, uh, stretch. So step on the brakes, step on the brakes. So good. A little 
flat. Oh, almost flat out there. Loving the sound of 2JZ. Jumping around the corners, nice job, sugarcoat. There, here's the service card I was long stretch. Like I said before, I have a habit of cheesy camera view, so bear with that.
Star Trekker go. Win number one for them. racer sunny flare and she drives a mercedes so we're gonna go bring her out we're gonna bring her out and she drives a mercedes amg sls with a v8 compressor so this one is actually has a supercharged v8 that's, it's an upgraded, uh, it's an upgraded uh, supercharger, so it's not like uh, it came standard. But I just decided to call it a compressor, as you can see on the on their screen. I just don't know why it actually starts at the beach because. There is that one roadway that actually takes you to that same area to Byron Bay. Now, the drivability on this car is a little bit different than the Supra. Uh, this thing is a little, a little bit heavy when you turn. The turn, the turning is very stiff on this car, but it's not that bad that I where it becomes a, a really big problem. You just really need to slow down a little bit more in order to accomplish a corner. the car is well behaved uh, she's actually uh, taking it really she's like she's really flooring it and the car is still like planted on the ground so this car is not nothing too crazy that's gonna become a big problem compared to the supra you gotta fight it just a little bit because that thing is just like has a shorter wheelbase and when it becomes when you go step on the gas on a low speed starts to like get a little squirrely. This one is just perfectly fine. And also that, uh, the, the visibility on this car is like so bad. The windshield's like, you can see like half of it. But what's outside of you? Honestly, this is like nothing because I I used to drive I, I drove a Ferrari FXX in Horizon One and believe me this thing's act that that was actually worse than this one. So whatever Sunny Flare is actually looking right on on the screen on that windshield, it's nothing compared to that FXX I drove.
this car is actually really well behaved. white there so far she hasn't crashed yet I'll tell you that that's a good sign her first crash.
nice job around that corner. The double apex right there is not that, it's not easy as you think it is. It's not easy as you think, especially when you're driving two-wheel drive. There comes the other guys. Oh, you think you're gonna win this one? You think you're gonna win this one? Uh-uh, not today. Job. That's not a win. Give me a second, guys. Let me do this real quick. Just invited me to a party, yeah? All right, next racer is Lemon Zest. And she drives a Audi R8. She drives an Audi R8. It's a V10 Plus here, but in Horizon 1, she actually drives a Audi R8 GT. Driving all-wheel drive cars, especially on Glide, is, is not bad, actually. 
It's actually a lot more stable than driving a two-wheel drive car, so that you don't have to really suffer a lot of oversteer. But I still prefer driving a two-wheel drive, two-wheel drive in my opinion. Pauses real quick. Give me a second. go as fast as she can. actually worry more about the driving characteristics better than just the looks of it. That's my opinion. So, I mean, a car can look ugly from the outside, yet it can handle really good on the inside. Ooh, a little bit risky there. Make it easy out there, let me into the Outback straight away. So this one's it's gonna be like a pure flat out, so this could actually kill some time too. As long as she doesn't crash, we'll be fine. Ooh, a little bit wide there. It's, it's not, not that bad. As long as you're not like going really too crazy off on that dirt. Yeah, like I said, her color her color combination is not, in my opinion, it's not great. I don't think it's, but it's not bad. I, it's just too bright. But that's the color that she actually settled with. I do like the audio rate though. 
Uh, here's a little bit of a here. The Audi R8 is actually based on the Lamborghini Gallardo chassis. Probably one of the reasons why the, their dimensions almost the same. And I would, would you guys think it's a cheap, a slightly cheaper Lamborghini Gallardo? Not necessarily, because uh, it's just the reason why it's actually attracts a little bit more attention, just a little bit than a Lamborghini. Is Audi is actually no? I got uh, all mixed up. Uh, Lamborghini actually gets a little bit more attention than Audi. When you're comparing the Audi, the Audi R8 with the Gallardo, the Gallardo actually gets more more attention because. Even though the Audi R8 and the Gallardo are based on both, both are same, or both are both same uh, chassis and stuff like that. I can't speak today. Although they're both based on the same chassis, uh, Lamborghini still gets the most attention because everybody knows Audi. So when they're looking at the R8, they're like, yeah, it's an Audi. It just happens to look cool and fast. Sorry about that. I can't speak today. <laughs> Some reason. Okay, so he decides to step on the brakes there. That was kind of a flat out corner right there. Not really much of a flat out, but it's like a uh, a little bit. She could she should have went a little bit faster around that corner. Oop. Uh oh. Weight transfer. Weight transfer's kicking in. Yep, 
like I said before, that's not really the easiest, uh, easiest part of the track. If you screw up there, oh, you're dead. Back to the beach. No, I'll go. Don't worry. He's getting impatient again. Come on, the race is done. Like, come on, the race is done. We are done. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will see you guys later. I got two more Shadow Bolts to race. Uh, uh, race around Goliath. So be on the lookout for that. So until next time, see you guys in a bit.